Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Julian Assange just exposed Obama's undetectable assassination scheme, and one person is already dead. How far-reaching does Obama's corruption go? Would he actually kill off his political opponents in order to keep his secrets from being revealed? Well, according to what was just revealed by WikiLeaks in their latest data dump as part of Vault 7, you'll never view our government the same way again after the unbelievable bombshell that was just released. Back in 2013 during the Obama administration, journalist Michael Hastings was killed under extremely bizarre circumstances just hours after contacting WikiLeaks to inform them he was in fear for his life and was under FBI surveillance for what he uncovered about Army deserter Bo Bergdahl. Additionally, Hastings had the Central Intelligence Agency in his sights and was set to release an expose on the agency, according to LA Weekly. Speculation swirled as to whether his high-speed car crash was in fact a targeted assassination, after witnesses to the fiery wreck say that Hastings' Mercedes had literally exploded, leading many to believe that a car bomb which ignited the fuel could have been responsible for the incident. While that was all conspiracy back in 2013, the sick thing that WikiLeaks just released corroborates this previous conspiracy theory as the absolute truth. InfoWars reports, the CIA was also looking at infecting the vehicle control systems used by modern cars and trucks. The purpose of such control is not specified, but it would permit the CIA to engage in nearly undetectable assassinations, writes WikiLeaks. Hastings sent an email hours before his death stating he was onto a big story and needed to go off the radar for a bit. It later emerged that the story was likely to have been an expose of the CIA. Friends and colleagues confirmed that the journalist was very paranoid about being under government surveillance and had received death threats. A separate close friend of Hastings also told Infowars that the journalist's home was visited by agents from an unnamed federal agency the day before his death. The incident gets even more alarming however. After what former counterterror czar Richard Clark said after the attack, where he went on the record to say that Hastings' death was consistent with a car cyber attack. No matter how you slice this particular pie, a Mercedes is not just going to explode into flames without a little assistance, writes freelance journalist Jim Stone. Car fires in new cars happen for three main reasons, running the engine out of oil, or running the engine out of coolant, or after an absolutely huge car mangling accident having the hot side of the battery short out against the frame before it reaches the fuse panel. And for all three of those normal reasons, which account for virtually all car fires in modern cars, the fire would have started in the engine compartment, progressed slowly, and scorched the hell out of the paint before ever reaching the gas tank. That clean paint is the be-all tell-all, Michael Hastings was murdered, and the rest is detail. The fact that the CIA was exploring car hacking techniques under Obama suggests that the technology has been an area of interest for the agency for quite some time. Other documents released today by WikiLeaks reveal that the CIA has also been active in hacking microphones on computers, smartphones and TVs in order to listen in on the conversations of the user. The Obama administration openly bragged that they had the ability and authority to assassinate American citizens anywhere in the world if the person was determined to be a national security threat. Is it that far-fetched to believe that Hastings was a victim of one of their unconstitutional policies? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.